my great pleasure to welcome Noria Marchi to Australia <laughs> for the production Earth Cry, which we've been working on together for a couple of years. I'm pretty, pretty tired right now. This is day four of this kut, which is the ceremony. seen the deep southeast coast at typhoon season and it's pretty formidable. The Tong Yan Persian Kut, which is the shaman ritual from the region, it's also where this drum comes from, is one of the most formidable musics I've ever seen or heard in my life. And just for the, the entire ritual event, which can last several days, it's an amazing living tradition, including making uh, these beautiful paper flowers and really transforming the space with these hugely complex and extended musical structures and large slabs of text. And it was a life-changing experience to see Kim Yong Tech's family for five days. I've never been very, very tired at the end of it. first heard this music in 2011, Nora Marchi Studios, and that was when we really first wanted to create a contemporary ritual based on some of the structures that you would find. What makes them such a super group is that they have themselves distilled all of these regional styles and flavours to create their own contemporary music voice, and they've toured the world with that and people love them, which you'll understand if you come to our concert, they're amazing. So this is not a traditional music show, this is a new work, but it's been heavily inspired by and influenced by some of the traditions that we've learned about, and it's presented, I might add, with the utmost respect and gratitude to everybody who's helped us on that journey so far, we hope it's just the beginning. Samuel James is the video artist. I find his work really moving, subtle and powerful and deeply Australian. And there's a shamanic sort of resonance in the way that he transforms objects and he refuses to just regard them as inanimate stuff. He goes looking for that spirit life in things, so that made him a perfect fit. And it didn't take us long before Peter Sculthorpe's spirit started to infuse this work as well. He championed our place in Asia and our Aboriginal heritage, protecting the land long before it was hip to. So it seemed proper that we mark his passing with this work as well. And Joshua and Bree and I have been quietly developing our own music over the last little while. <laughs> and I'm really proud of it. And it has a good outlet in this piece. So there's a few things to culminate. <laughs> Wish us luck. More importantly, come check it out. See you there.